CDC is warning about the spread of enterovirus D68, a common virus seen in children. While the symptoms are mild, likely a runny nose and coughing, its effects can lead to muscle weakness and even paralysis. Fox 44's Earl Stoudemire tells us normally enterovirus is seen in the summer and fall, but Baylor Scott and White, they're starting to see a rise in cases now. They can present with muscle weakness, uh, and that's when you have to be aware of uh, those symptoms so you can contact your doctor or go to the emergency room. Baylor Scott White, Dr. Elizabeth Kawaime, says her colleagues aren't the only ones seeing the virus. This year, the CDC has identified more enterovirus cases in children with severe respiratory illness than in the last three years combined. A rise in cases normally happens every other year, but Kawaime says this year is different with relaxed COVID guidelines. We are seeing that people is getting together. We are not using a mask all the time. And so when we cough or we are sneezing, we are having very mild symptoms or maybe no symptoms. And we are carrying the virus. We are that passing that virus from person to person. There is no vaccine for enterovirus. If untreated, it can develop into pneumonia and in rare cases, central nervous disease or polio. We've all heard that there has been uh, new cases of polio. Polio has been eradicated now for several years in this country, mainly because we have a vaccine. On top of vaccinations, director of the Waco McLennan County Public Health District, LaShonda Marley Horn, says it's best to stay prepared to avoid infection. Sanitizer for your kids in their lunch boxes or backpacks as they go off to school because, you know, alcohol based hand sanitizer is one of the first lines of defense to prevent the spread of diseases. I'm also using Kleenex regularly and kids having Kleenex available.